And here we are back again in Womb Unlimited. Today I thought we'd have a little bit of a chat. And we would have a little bit of a chat while I go do my little round the mountain look for tests and kill a couple of things and stuff like that. So, firstly, I've started a little, a second little deed on top of the mountain here. Um, a yeah, little place down here, but I decided that I like to be higher than I actually was, so I'm, it's not going to be huge. We are going to extend um, probably along this way, down across here, make it a bit of a, a rectangle size, and this is the Angel's Tower right here. You can't see it because my UI is not up. But basically what happens is we have made a tunnel. Uh, maybe we need to, in fact, open this up. Da, da, da. Where is our little? Uh, it's in tools. Why am I carrying corn? That's not cool town. Uh, down to the our statue, and we're just going to turn the light on here. And light. Actually, I can press U for that because I have bound it. Okay, so we should be able to see through here. So yeah, what I did was I leveled the rock out so I could do a one slope. Uh, one slope here, so I could actually get the line which I wanted this mine door to head in. Um, so there is a bit of a dip in the middle, but we have the tower on the outside. Probably have another building or something over there, but this is this one's one's going to go up, and uh, uh, as my uh, skill goes up, it will go higher and higher. So uh, we're going to head down here. Da, da, da. So we've mined all this out. I did have a bit of a problem. I wanted to zigzag this a touch, but I found out that the line that I was going, uh, there was an iron vein. So I actually had got back onto the line that I had already been on. So a couple of these tiles here, when I reinforce the other side, they're going to be reinforced on this side too. It's a bit cheaper that way, So, but it won't go too far down anyway. So we head down here, turn around, and down we go. We joined up uh, the tunnel. I had one, one guy on one side, one guy on the other, and they just kind of mined and kind of just lined her up. Um, what's going on here? BSB for all oh, right. We have to turn. Ah, oh, excuse me. We've got we've got a we've got a wall, a wall collapse already. That's a bit boring. Okay. Well, I'm glad it wasn't the uh, tile in which the forge is and the BSB. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to get in, get into this and uh, start refor reinforcing because uh, I don't know what the um, what the chances of collapsing on here? Maybe they've been up a bit just to speed up the server, as in collapsing mines and stuff. So we're just going to head out here. Crops are growing. So yeah, so basically we come out here. We would come out here. We do have another door up there. I'm going to close that one off. But yeah, that takes us up the top. I don't really need it because I actually can walk all the way up there. But I decided to do it anyway. Uh, let's get a drink before we head out. Open up the old well, well, well. Have a drink. Come on, drink fast. With time is a waste in here. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Okay, and off we go. So we're gonna close that off. Although it will close off itself. I do have a bit of a circuit. I do. I have a larger circuit and a shorter circuit. But I just do one. Just have a look around. You never know what you're going to find. And I might find some new horses or something like that that I want to grab. Hopefully these won't die as I'm out here. But basically what I want to talk to everyone about today, well not talk to because I can't talk with because nobody's here, is um, I'm thinking that Worm Unlimited needs to be a default 10 times speed. Now this server is fantastic in many, many ways. You know, it tackles some a lot of the things that Worm uh, Online hasn't and perhaps should. And there's, there's, you know, I could do a whole list, but I, off the top of my head, I can't remember them all. But uh, Badoo has really been changing the code around a lot here, and it's really good. But not just the fact that he's changed the code for little things, but having Worm Unlimited at a, a lot higher speed, say 10 speed default, would mean that it would be a lot different than Worm Online and it would cater to a definitely a different crowd opposed to what it does now which starts out at one time speed 
which is basically the same. It's the same as Worm online, and I don't see the point of having it like that. Um, having it at that speed, yes, people are going to have a going to going to have a go, and they won't have to pay, the, you know, a premium subscription. Um, they can do what they want with their own servers. They can even mod if they want. They can use other people's mod. That's great, but I just think that having uh, a default. 10 speed people would get a lot more things done and they would stay longer and uh, they would probably get more people in because I don't think having it the same as well online needs to be done I think you have it at 10 times speed and then you have an option to slow it to worm online speed or whatever it would just make it easier now not everybody uh, knows how to mod servers obviously uh, a lot of people that play games in general, survival games, you know, they they want instant gratification. They want things to just be, just to work. Um, you know, getting a server going on this is not not easy. Uh, there's lots of guides out there to it, but straight up, you can't just go and just server it up. You know, but I think having it at ten times speed would keep people longer and I think that's what Worm needs I think that um, Worm Unlimited is a great platform for getting pe people in that would never have played Worm Online and it has and like, you can even see it on the server you've got people here and they and there's even people here that think you know it's hard and grindy and dangerous and they die and that's understandable because they're new and they've never played Worm before and that's gonna happen but uh, you've got to give them all the chance in the world to actually enjoy the game and not be frustrated with it and Worm Unlimited is just that and I have seen like I've been watching the sales of Worm Unlimited and they're definitely going up um, I can see them getting sold and I remember at one stage it was 27,000 and last time I looked I think it was 44,000 so you know that money is going you know going into the game and hopefully going into development of both sides of the story both games so I think it's really good and I'm really enjoying Worm Unlimited this time around and slowly I'm like why am I paying a premium on Worm Unlimited like in saying that that kind of moves to my next point that Worm Online doesn't have enough incentive for people to play it I think the main thing is that people are stuck there and they don't want to lose their characters. They've spent so much time in it that they want to just keep playing because, apart from community, but nobody wants to stop playing a game that they put so much into. And some people will bite the bullet, bullet and obviously many have. And you know, someone like Badoo, um, who likes to code and stuff and make the, the server the way he wants it, has done that. And I don't think he would ever turn back. And I'm pretty sure the other day in the chat we were kind of discussing that that you know Worm Unlimited is just what he wanted and I'm sure there's heaps of people out there especially people that have their own servers and they work on them it's a little baby you know it's just like a developer you know you, you work on the game and you, you set, set goals and you work you, you know you get them all happening and then people like them and you're like oh yeah man I'm really making, making a difference here so I think that Worm Online which I keep saying really needs to have more incentive like I don't know I, w I wouldn't want it to be something that takes away doesn't give worm unlimited the same type of thing I just don't know how it has to be um, the fact that it's worm unlimited here you can have multiple characters uh, on the server uh, is another good thing whereas worm online you need to uh, you know you need to part you can have lots of alts, but you need to have another premium. You need to pay more premiums, and I paid up to five premiums at some some stage. You know, even if they were from coin out of the game, or you know, from the actual buying it from the shop, which I do like to do because I like to support the game. But um, there needs to be something else to to really keep people in Worm Online, apart from the fact that they have characters. And they don't want to lose them. And, you know, I love my deeds on Worm Online as well, and I'm not going to give them up. Or, well, I'm probably going to give up one, which is just just a port, so it doesn't really matter too much. 
but um, it's a hard one because things really get things really happen here really quickly and it's quite satisfying and I don't think that even at 10 times worm is even anywhere near as fast as other survival games um, all in all uh, I think uh, it's a great it's great speed oh hello spider now like just for instance if I go up here I don't have any uh, stamina back but I'm going to get some go here attack target there we go he's yeah he's an animal and I'm foe so now I will hit him let's get the high ground a bit more if we can I don't want to move too much because of my fighting skills protects my parry I think it is while moving now you'll see here down the bottom as we kill this little fella um, Let's take him out. Let's do it. Come on, my last hit. Let's let's go it. Oh, we're gonna do a focus right at the end. Okay, so now we got six copper and fifty iron for that, which is awesome. You know, we're making money. We're actually getting something. I'm finding worm online. There's so much block. You know, like I found that. The, the, and I'm not the only one who thought this thinks this that Rolf has had always put in stuff that makes you have to do a lot of stuff to stay in the game you know it's, and it's just not needed you know people will stay in the game if they just have things to do I didn't get anything from my burial well that's okay but you know having access to coin so you can get things that you like and you know you're gonna have to spend the money, um, you know, and giving it to you know buying something from somebody else, and that's fine because that's an economy. And there are things that you will want and you won't want to do yourself, so you get somebody else to do it. And if you have the coin to do so, um, you can do it. You know, making money in making money in World Online is really for the for the veteran who's been around a long time. Now, you know, on Dead Energy we made a lot of money just by doing high quality things, uh, armors and weapons, and selling them with nice enchants and stuff. It made lots of money, but for the person who gets in here straight away, the, the noob, you can't do that because no one's going to buy your level 10, um, your level 10 two handed sword. You know, you have to take a long time, and I think for a long time, you know, Worm and Rolf always catered to people that have been around a very long time, and he didn't want to change anything to upset them. Now, I think looking after the newer player is just as important, and having access to things like coin and stuff really makes a difference on how long you actually stay. We're not having too much luck here on the old chests and stuff, are we? But we're getting a tour of the area. Uh, crocodile, I could tame him. And off we go. Now, here, there's even a trader you can sell things to to make coin, you know? I've seen people making, you know, gold rings and stuff like that. And having that incentive to do a certain skill, because you know that you can make some money, is once again brilliant it's really awesome you know like now this server does have upkeep for deeds and so you will have you will have to pay them you don't just get free deeds you actually have to make sure that you have the money to keep them going so and once again that gives you incentive to make things and sell them either to a trader or uh, another player and that's just brilliant it's funny because it seems like it's a cop out and it's cheating and it's like selling out and you know changing worm but it's not it really isn't it's making worm better um, it's worm it is, will always be worm no matter how fast you do it all the mechanics are there 
you know the immersion is here still uh, like look at this place like we can change all this up you can't do that in every game yes you can do it in Minecraft but it doesn't look the same and there's other games that you can change things about but this as a worm player and I'm sure everyone agrees that worm has such a vibe and I keep coming back because even if it's Worm Unlimited or Worm Online, I'm still coming back and I'm really enjoying it this time around. So you can have it 25 times and Worm is still Worm. Now, let's face it, skills go up really quick, even at 10 times speed. Uh, I tell you what though, weaponsmithing does not go up that fast and uh, channeling does not go up that fast. But And I'm sure there's other skills that take a while. But uh, especially when you get up in the 90s, 99, something like trying to get that faith up, it it's slow. I'm not, I haven't even clocked the 100. I'm 100 faith, but not by completing all the, the decimals. I'm actually like 99.9. Oh, there's a beehive. Um, 998 or something like that. But hey, why? Why do I need to get to 100? It says I'm 100. No, actual. I don't think it's actually a um, an achievement for it or a title. So okay, so we're out of the B pass. We're not having any luck with the old um, chests here, are we? Yep. But I guess that's life now. And also these chests, you know, they're great incentive to just get out and explore and go have a look around. You never know what you're going to find. And something you find the little gold mine, you're like, yeah, I went out and I found stuff, and I won. Just a little victory. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. What's over there? Is that a wild ball? No, it's a rock. A uh, pile of items. Looks like lots of mobs out here. What do we have? What is this? It's obviously not a chest because it's just a little pile. Oh, why? Can why? Why? Why people? Make sure you make sure you take your items from the chest so it can respawn. Looking, looking. Uh, we're getting close to completing our circuit. It does take a little bit of time. Now, these horses, these are totally straight out of the wild, uh, and this cart is doing 19. Horse speeds are increased. Why does it? Why does it matter if we have fast horses? Why not? Horses go fast. Why should we have a horse that goes 12 kilometers? Well, because we need to level our animal husbandry to find extra traits and breed them we can do we will do that anyway like the default speed will be even faster uh, the def you know, a real speed of a horse is pretty damn fast I don't know why we need this grind block of you know having a slow slow horse it just makes horses faster let's get things done let's have fun we don't need the block Look in. A bit of a step over there. There is a road coming through over there too. Someone's making a road. I can I can also do a lot of things from the cart um, that I couldn't do. Like I can uh, you know get sprouts. Here we go. What, what do we look? Where's our tools? Where's our tools? I, I know I've got a lot of stuff in my. I've got to get a new sickle. Where are we? Oak tree. Nature. Well, that's that's not going to help me, is it? Let's have a look here. Well, I can prune from here. Oh, I'm solid ground for that. Wow, it'll make me look like a freaking idiot. Okay. There we go. Pick sprout, no worries. I don't think you can do that in the main game. If I do, well, if you can, well, that's me not remembering all our mechanics and that's possible because I haven't been in game for a while I would like uh, 
I would like an ebony black. See, another thing. Is this just a normal black? Yeah, it's just normal black. What is it? It's a female, but it's going to die soon. See, the other thing too is, in Worm Online, just let us have the new horses straight up. The new, their colours, their horses, they're all around the world, just like in the real world. We have horses that all have different colours. We, Why can't we have them? Why do we have to breed them in? Like, why make it a grind? Let's just do it, you know? Those horses are going to need to be bred anyway for speed boosts and stuff like that and carry weights and all your type of stuff that you get from the traits. Why hold us back? Don't do it. Don't do it in this day and age where anyone, like there's millions of games out there that we could just go and play if we're just frustrated enough with one. And I, we do it, we do it on many games, you know, you get frustra frustrated with a game and then you change and you play another one. There's too many out there. What I do find though is that Worm Unlimited really bring, brings the game closer to the modern day without sacrificing too much. We're going to go have a look down here. We are going to kill one of these mountain lions and then we're probably going to end it. I, I really hope that... Uh, I know Retro always watches my videos and that's good. I really wish the uh, you know devs do... You know, we're checking it out and listen to my, my discussions because you know a lot of the time they do reflect the, the, the player base and how what they think as well. Let's attack this guy. This guy gives us, um, I think he gives us nine copper actually. Now we do have an MP56 on this one. Um, so he does pretty good. Obviously my fight skill is not that far up because I've been, uh, I've been doing channeling a lot. Channel, 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 so we can get those LTs out. 47, uh, someone someone might actually you never know someone might need a pelt I can get some of my friends playing as well okay now we're gonna bury this little number bury well I always bury just to see if I can get like a um get like a coin a large coin like a two silver or something quite large those mountain lines aren't they oh it's a Ah, oh, champion! You go away, troll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tame you. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What I'm looking for here? I'm looking for my. Did you run away? Oh, I don't know if I can get this without the troll coming. I hope I can. Oh, he's, I don't want to fight you. Take off my weapon. Okay, let's try that again, hey? Spells charm. Spells charm again. Oh, we got him. Okay. Very nice. Okay, what, the only problem I have with this is the fact that my Templar is... Actually, we're going to look at this guy. Look at equipment. Mm. Oh, that's a bad wound. I, oh, I've got a... I've got a healing cover here. Is that troll? Is he around? No, he's okay. Old champion mountain lion. I need to get rid of my uh, get rid of my Templar. I shouldn't have got it in the first place. I know what I will do. I will put a Templar on the other deed, and I'll get rid of this one. Okay, so that's not going to work. 
Uh, let's do that. Okay, let's do this over here. Treat. That's very bad, isn't it? He's cool. I will keep you as my pet. Just checking, checking, looking for the troll. Here we go. Treated, that's good. Okay, so now you're down to 36. Probably have to wait for that to drop a bit. I'll try again. I think this is a good way to end the video, isn't it? Off we go. So, yes. Big discussion. Big discussion. Interrupted by an old champion mountain lion. But, you know, he's cool. He's my, he's my cat. I'm going to keep him. And, you know, lots of discuss now. I mean, we tried, but we failed. You know what, we'll take him back to base, and we'll go from there. You gonna come with me, buddy? Okay, cool. Let's do it. Um, anyway, good. We're gonna need to, like, you know, comment, comment on this video. Tell me what you think. Uh, you can even post in the, uh, you know, on the forum post. Tell us what your thoughts are. I like, you know, like a bit of feedback. Tell me if you agree with me. Prob there's probably people out there that definitely wouldn't. Now, I, you know, I was of that sort. I was of that mind that, you know, Worm Unlimited was not good. Um, I would that I would rather pay, play uh, Worm Online. But everyone's got their opinion. <laughs> you just have to think of others on, you know. We've got to cover every base. We need to cover the people that uh, love instant gratification. Uh, you know, Worm Online can stay the way it is if it wants, you know. But I'm pretty... I think there's a lot of things that could be made better. Of course, you know, get rid of all the crappy little grindy bits that are silly. Uh, the ones we discussed before. But... Um, yeah, let me know what you what, what you think and uh, comment in the sections and uh, that'll be awesome. So we're going to head back home. Uh, remember to subscribe and like if you like to see here, if you like the discussion. Uh, we're going to have lots more discussions uh, as we go along. Because I like to have a bit of a whinge on stuff sometimes. I do love the game, but sometimes I wish things were a little bit different. And I think uh, we need to have these discussions. So... I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.